Okay, I got the wings on the plane. I'm going to show you what each flight surface is going to do if your Cortex is set up correctly. So we're going to power on the Cortex, power on the plane, and we're going to wait for the Cortex to be ready before touching it. So during the initialization phase, we power it on, apply power to the Cortex, don't touch the plane, and it will twitch the surfaces, letting you know it's initialized and ready to go. It was the twitch of the surfaces, so it lets you know that that is ready to go. So, the easiest way for me to explain this, the plane should fight the input that you're giving it. So if I pick this plane up and I roll it to the right, my ailerons should give left roll correction. Uh, if I pick the plane up and I pitch the nose down, elevators should want to pitch the plane back up. And if I take the plane and I yaw it to the left, the rudder should want to give right correction input. Uh, another easy way of doing it instead of trying to rack your brain about it is basically if you lift up on a surface, that surface should move up. If you push down on a surface, that surface should go down. It should go in the direction that you're moving the surface. So for example, I'm going to slide the plane away a little bit here and move the camera right here. So here we have my left aileron. I'm going to pick it up. So, see if you can see it a little better maybe here. Again, picking up my left wing, the left aileron is going up. This is normal, how it corrects and goes back, because right now the cortex is in hold mode. Um, a lot of people have also asked the question like, well, if the cortex is in hold mode, when you move it, should it not just stay there? Well, it, it doesn't. It's not like a hold mode on a tail on a helicopter, where if you move the yaw position of the helicopter, the tail stays in that position because it's constantly trying to fight to get back to that original clock position along uh, the yaw. The cortex doesn't work that way in the hold mode, but it works very well in hold mode even though it doesn't do that. Okay, so again, easiest way to remember, surface up, surface, flight surface should move up. If I push it down, it should go down. I'll show you the same thing here. Happens on the elevator and the rudder. So here's the elevator. I pick the plane up. See how the surface is going up with me when I pick the plane up? And then when I push the plane down, it goes down. I want to yaw the plane towards me. See how the rudder moved towards me? Now I'm going to push the plane away from me. The rudder should move away from me. So again, when you're doing your control surface checks, the most important thing to remember is that the plane should fight the input that you're giving it. And the easiest way to see that is if you're moving a control surface up, the control surface should move up to fight it. If you move the control surface down, the control surface should move down to fight it. Next portion of this video, I'm going to go in and cover, show you how to set up your endpoints, which is your gains for your gyro.